Hello everyone, my name is Chrisum and I'd like to welcome you to this conversation about your Kundalini, your Kundalini experiences. In this conversation, I'd like to discuss with you the idea of having Kundalini inside of a relationship, a, a marriage, marital relationship, or uh, your standard uh, relationship, uh, male-female type of relationship. When one spouse has it and the other one doesn't, levels of competition can be uh, injected into the equation. Well, why, why don't I have it and, and they have it and I don't have it and what's so special about them and all these types of things. And these are all levels of egotism that don't need to be injected into the conversation. The egotism will just ruin it for people. And, and that goes along with competition. Having kundalini is not a competition. Uh, if one person has it, especially if they have it without searching for it, uh, it's their time to have it. And the spouse that doesn't have it is there to support the spouse that does. Because one of the things about kundalini is that it is, it, it's communicable. So as your spouse has the kundalini and you don't, there's a very good chance that down the line a ways, you're going to activate it and they will be there to support you within it. So it's never to be looked at as a competition within a relationship context. Uh, if you have the kundalini and you're in a, in a marital relationship or you know a, a deep, deep uh, romantic relationship and the spouse doesn't support you, it doesn't support you having it, they, you know, they call 911 if you go into spontaneous kundalini induced movements, uh, they're doing pretty much everything they do, they can do to disrespect it calling you crazy or just like, don't talk about this with me. I don't understand it. Uh, that relationship is probably going to end because the Kundalini is an ultimate power. It is an ultimate power. And it will cause you to find another relationship that would be more supportive of its occurrence within you rather than having your uh, Kundalini uh, equation uh, disrespected and damaged by a person who doesn't support you in that area. So these are things that you need to consider when you're in the relationship and having Kundalini. One, it's not a competition. Two, Kundalini is the ultimate power. Three, if your relationship uh, partner isn't supporting the Kundalini, you can either educate them about it and if you know, do everything you can do to help them understand it to, and be comfortable with it, but if, they, if they're adamant about not supporting it, it may not last. And that's your relationship. Your kundalini will always trump your relationships. Thanks for watching.